Hey guys, we're currently giving away the dyed AR-12 t-shirt when I got my hair dyed blue and we ruined the t-shirt. We're currently giving that away, it's from Extra Life, it's one of a kind, so if you want to win, there's a link in the description down below to enter. Also, they said there was something new with like... <gasps> it's a sport as American as apple pie. Born on backcountry roads and sandy speedways where being the fastest meant everything. These cars weren't born special. They were everyday rides, built up, stripped down, and upgraded. This is the formula. Sticky tires, rear-wheel drive, and powerful V8 engines. For all the power on display, NASCAR requires a complex web of strategy on and off the track. Every race combines aerodynamic technology, tire conservation, and moment-to-moment -moment passing tactics, all at 200 miles per hour. Vivid colors, roaring sounds, and above it all, thrilling speed. This is a sport to fill the senses. But what if these cars were unleashed upon the most famous circuits of the world, challenging the very best GT competition on their home turf, taking on V8 supercars down the slalom of an Australian mountain, grasping for grip in the rain at Eau Rouge, or screaming down the Mulsanne Strait at 10,000 RPM. This is NASCAR on the world stage. All right, that's pretty cool, man. That's so sick. This is even cooler. That's so sick. Welcome to Homestead <gasps> Miami Speedway, nestled between two national parks and the beautiful beach coast of South Florida. Opened in 1995, this lush racetrack has played host to America's top motorsport championships. To familiarize yourself with a 725 horsepower stock car, let's tackle this classic oval in the number 24 Hendrick Motorsports Napa Chevrolet, driven in NASCAR by series champion Chase Elliott. This is so cool! I want unbeatable. I want the hardest NASCAR competition, please. Don't total this car. I'll try my best not to, man. Oh, God. Can I go exterior view? I can. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. It tells me where everyone is. With, like, little little indicators on the screen. Yo, that's cool. Oh, some guy went off hard. Holy crap. He just took off, like, the whole back end of the field. Wow. What happened there? All right, go for some draft. Yeah, <laughs> what happened? I really don't want to break. I don't know this track. All right, uh, a little bit of wall tapping. <gasps> Drift. <laughs> a little stressful this is. So, does anyone know if I should be breaking or if I should just be letting off? Because right now I'm just letting off, and I'm trying to take the like inside line to go short, the shortest distance around the track. Oh my god, I love this thing on the bottom. It shows exactly where everyone is. There's a guy right next to me. Oh god, I've done it again. I've ruined that. Yo, I'm used to IndyCar where you don't have to brake for anything. Oh god, I've done it again. Oh, I missed it. That's not a very good line through there, I imagine. You know what I wish they had, though? I wish they had even more players. Like, 24 is good, but the pack is still so spread out. It's like, there's no one really around me. There's no one in front of me. There's people up my bum hole. But... In real NASCAR, you're like always bumper to bumper, and you're always like an inch away from- I keep forgetting I need to lift off! Uh, he's right there! Oh my god! You thought turning left was easy? Nope. I'm in 14th place. I see you back there. Nationwide is on your side. Yeah, not a very good line again! 17th place- I'm gonna come last. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have gone on the hardest difficulty. That may have been a bit much, considering, I don't know, I'm not very good at this game. Yeah, I miss having, like, a proper oval. It's like, we have Indianapolis, which is good, but it's not really an oval. It's more of, like, a square or a rectangle. And then, and then there's Daytona, which is just a tri-oval. Again, not really like an oval. I mean, I miss this, having a proper oval. It feels almost like Sunset Peninsula, if you played Forza 4. It feels like that a little bit. Like the atmosphere and and the infield and everything, I feel like it's all a little a little similar. Anyways, coming up, final lap. All right, final lap. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Should I be going up here for around the corners? 
Or should I be going down and keeping it tight to the bottom? I feel like everyone else is going up top. So I feel like I should be doing that too. Anyways, 31 seconds, best lap time. 19th place. Hey, achievement. Welcome to NASCAR. Finish your first NASCAR race. Thank you, and I got 21 grand for that. You know what I forgot to check as well? How much NASCARs actually cost if you want to buy one? A second achievement for what? Homestead 305. Thanks, man. Complete a lap of Homestead. Under 30.5 seconds. Finish top three. All right, we got to make it easier. I love the rolling starts. They're so cool. I'm so happy they're finally in the game. Oh. All right, let's try to stick together, boys. Let's try to stick together. I like how I'm talking to you like, I'm a, like, like we're a team. We're not really a team. I just want to make it look cool. All right, this may have been a bit too easy now. No one's going to crash. Should I just crash someone out? Oh, there's a crash! I really want the little fins on the roof to come out because those look cool. Yeah, I may have made it a bit easy now. Yeah, I feel like the top line is so much faster. Yeah, look at my front. It's all, it's all dented and stuff for my crashes. FedEx, I never saw you last race. You were way too fast. Was that McDonald's? No, that wasn't McDonald's. Yeah! First place. Why did he break again? Totally drift this, though. I mean, the only issue with drifting something like this is that it's on race tires. So it wouldn't be ideal. But other than that, it's like... You could totally do it. I feel like my lines aren't very clean. I feel like you need to use a wheel, and you'd be so much- or you'd have such a big advantage. You just take it so smooth. Oh, 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 oh that's- I didn't mean to do that. I did it! I mean, I still need to come top three, so if you guys could, like, chill. Alright, you know what? You mean drifting's not a good idea in a NASCAR? Who would have thought that? The floppy bits on the roof. Oh my god. Yeah, they're really cool. I, you can't really see them on here, but there's also some in the front. Like where the headlights are supposed to be almost. Because <laughs> they cause they stickers. Yay. All right, no more drifting. Look what it's done to me. They're already back here. Tom's like, drifting is always faster. Yeah, Tom's been watching too much. Um, what's it called? What's it called? The drift show? Anime? Initial D, thank you. Is there an infield for this track? Has anyone actually checked if there's an infield or like, like, can we go in there? Or is it just, just the oval? Because if it's just the oval, then, eh. But if we get the infield, then Tom was saying there's an actual Formula Drift track here, so we can try actually doing some proper drifting. Nick, we're asking you to check. Oh, I'll go check after this. Oh, final race. Ta-da, I did it. So will there be a NASCAR tab or will it be under like, Chev okay, it will be under Chevrolet. And then you've got all your cars in here. So you've got, uh, you've got obviously, the Haas Racing Team, which is some of these. There you go. There's some Haas ones. There's Hendrick Motorsports. Penske. Don't know who that is. They don't have many. Those are cool, though. I like those. Joe Gibbs Racing. I guess that's the team. And then they have 750 or 725 horsepower, 450 torque. 3,300 pounds. It's actually not as much as I was expecting. I just want to see if we can upgrade this at all. I have no idea what we're going to be able to... <gasps> we can upgrade it. Oh my god, we can engine swap. We can put in the even bigger NASCAR engine. <laughs> Nick, you knob. Don't drift in NASCAR. Classics. Tracks that have served the spectacle of stock car racing since the very beginning of NASCAR. And what a spectacle it is. Fans watch from the high banking as the cars scream by, wind and rubber flying everywhere. As a driver, the view is even better as you'll navigate through the pack, drafting off the driver in front and waiting for the moment to pass. You'll not only race on classic ovals, but also the road courses that snake through the infield and out onto <gasps> the bank straight, all on the finest tracks America has to offer. Welcome home. I saw Circuit of the Americas. We're starting at Watkins Glen. Yes. All right, so we're, we're sticking in the Napa Auto Parts car. I like it, it's cool. Yo, we even got a, a rolling start. I wonder if you're online now, if you can be like, I want a rolling start. Cause that would be so sick. That would be so sick. You know what I also I, I wish we had? I wish we had, um, what do people call them? Safety cars? All right, boys. Boys, none of you guys know how to turn right. Here we go. Up into eighth place. Another right-hand corner. Come on. All right, I may need to turn the difficulty up. I forgot about that. And up into fourth place. Doing well.
I need to turn the difficulty up. Apparently, they're not very good at handling NASCARs around a course. Yo, why does it have a pit symbol up there? Do you have to pit? Do you, like... Is the voice man gonna become, like, pit, pit, pit? Also, isn't my, like, crew man person dude supposed to, like, give me tips? I can say for certain, though. Difficulty does need to be increased. Because although I can't NASCAR, I can track. They're actually really nice to drive. They don't slide out. Unless you try to make them slide out. It's like going around the corner, stomping it. It, it. It's not that bad. Can you drive interior, Captain? I can, but I won't be very good. And you can upgrade these, keep in mind. So <laughs> I think these are going to be pretty good. What are they going up against? They're in R class. So what are, what are the NASCARs driving against? They'd be driving against like P1s. All right, they might lose. I mean, I like sliding them. I like sliding them, they feel good. Like, you can totally be a knob in them and do that. Oh, make the fins go up. Yeah! I like those. Yeah, I really want to know what that does. Like, why is there a symbol in the air now? Do a damn pit stop. Yo, they'd catch me. They would catch me if I went for a pit stop. And I don't want to race around. Seven more laps of Watkins Glen. I mean, like, it's a great track, and I love it. My favorite track. But I don't need to do seven more laps of it right now. This will be my only chance to pit. Because after I make it harder, I mean, I'm never going to pit. So I'll do it. I'll do it. Here we go. We'll pit. Watch it not even be different. Watch it be exactly the same. All right, in we go. Hello? Yo, what? What? What is this? That's so sick! That's not a thing normally. Driving to pit stall. Get to a stall. Oh, he's right behind me! He's gonna pass me! He's gonna pass me! He's passed me! I've pulled over! I'm in third! 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, oh my god! 16th, 17th place! Let me drive! 17th! There's no way I'm gonna be able to catch them up! I'm gonna have to do 7 more laps of Watkins Glen! You knobs! You absolute knobs! No! You shouldn't have done that! Oh, really? Wonder how you worked that one out. I mean, that was cool and all, but that was not worth 10 minutes of my life. I was winning by literally a mile. And then I decided, no, you know what would be funny? Let's drive into pits to see what it does. Could have done it at any freaking race. <laughs> I will only go in the pit. I am jerking off to feminine hygiene products right now and watching your stream. Drive 50 miles in Hendrick Motorsports NASCAR miles. Thanks, man. Okay, yeah. What are these quick stop races? I want to know what these are. Races require each car to visit the pit lane at least once to meet the race objective. Shaking up the race order and introducing a new level of strategy to every race. Pay attention to the updated HUD that shows how many stops are required, which drivers have used their quick stop, and where to enter the pits. <laughs> it's so cool. Now we got more rolling starts. I just love this. I love it. It's so sick. Hey, GBS Ferrari. Hey, buddy. Yo. <laughs> this is so sick. Funniest thing about this DLC is that you probably buy the official NASCAR game for much less than 16 quid. Yeah, are we on a street track? I thought we were going to be on the short version of Road America. Apparently not. Oh, we got, we got, we got contact. Oh, we just bullied him. 
You dick! McDonald's driver's a dick! Love you, Nick. This is my first time watching your stream. He saw a corner and got Please scared. do a wheelie and drift build on the NASCARs. Oh, we less totally will. Less than three, less than three. We totally will. I mean, I'm wondering what type of pit strategy should I take? Should I take a first one? Should I, should I go first lap pit? Maybe? I should... When should I pit? I'll allow Twitch chat to choose when I pit. Everyone's like, pit first lap. All right, all right, I got this. We'll pit now, boys. We got this. Yeah, the, the guy was confronted with a right-hand corner, and he's gone off. Congratulations, buddy. All right, here we go. This might be the worst time to pit, but I'm going for it. Yeah, we're doing like 200 miles an hour nearly into the pit. I think it was probably like 130, but... Is anyone else pitting? Is anybody else pitting? Oh, there's one more person. Two more people. Three more people. Hey, I'm not the only person who pitted. All right, cool. All right, we got to get out of the pits quick, though. Let's go. There's a bunch of people in the pits. Everyone is in the pits. Yo, number 19 is a quicker pit crew. Ha <laughs> he's crashed. Oh, wait, no, he's gone into the pits. Never mind. All right, let's hope we didn't mess that up completely. But that was very cool. Very, very cool. I applaud you, Turn 10. That is awesome. That is such a simple, basic feature. And I don't know how long it would have taken to implement that. Probably, like, a, a team of people, like, a week. Oh, that is cool, though. So let's see how many other people pit here. It'll tell me when they do, I think. It, it said that when I was ignoring the dude who was speaking. Holy shit, this is, this is scary, because every time I've played F1, every single time I've played F1, I always screwed myself by going into the pits at the wrong time. That's how I lost 90% of my races on that game. By just screwing myself with the pits. And I better not have done it in this game as well. I better not ever. I'm going to be mad. So, okay, we totally don't need to turn on sim damage then. The quick stop thing is just go into the pits, make a pit stop, and then go back out. So there's nothing with, like, changing up your tires, nothing like that. I mean, you would if, if you had sim, sim damage on. They, they would give you new tires and fill up your gas and everything. But you totally don't need to play with that on. That is really cool. See if I can pass anyone. I'm in 18. Coming up. I'm going to pass a lot of people here. There they are. They're all in the pits. Give me a crash in the pits, I'm telling you. All right. I've passed all those guys. I'm up into seven. Seven people have not pitted, I think. Yeah, you're a brilliant driver. You've hit the wall. Even I didn't do that, buddy. You haven't even gone in the pits yet. Yo! Do you see that? He tried to spin me out. What a dick! What a massive knob! Alright, there those guys go. Bye, guys! Have a nice pit stop, all of you. Enjoy slowing down. Bye, guys. See you later. First place. Alright, finish it up. Final lap. Pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up. Everyone's too far, man. Can't have a pile up. We're all spread out. We need an oval. When we head to Daytona, I bet there's going to be a pile-up. Yeah, jumping onto Homestead, though. That was intimidating as hell. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. First race we haven't had to retry. Or redo. Well, I was going to say, you have to come fourth place specifically this time. I did it. I wonder what happens if you don't do your quick stop. Will you qualify? This is cool. It's like a tutorial of NASCAR. All these first races.